Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. The first official press conference for the Andy Ruiz Jr. and Anthony Joshua rematch in Saudi Arabia on December 7th has been held but without the fighters themselves. So it was a very unusual event. It was about 10 minutes or so of Eddie Hearn, Anthony Joshua's promoter, and a spokesman from the Saudi Arabian side of the event, effectively talking up the event being in Saudi Arabia. So I think for this first official press conference, I think for many fans, it sort of promised much, but delivered little, because I was expecting at least one fighter to appear and effectively being be talk about the fight and that sort of side of things as opposed to the event location and really trying to sort of ram that home to fans and justifying why it is in Diria in Saudi Arabia. Uh, but that's what we got. Effectively, the first five, six minutes was effectively talking up all Saudi Arabia. And obviously, they have uh, seen some of this backlash and they wanted to address some of that. But it did kind of feel, instead of being a usual sort of press conference with a fighter, you're really talking up the rematch and what they were thinking ahead of it going into training camp, that it really was a sales pitch instead. But there were a few kernels of news within this, including that Andy Ruiz Jr. has signed on for the rematch. That is according to to Eddie Hearn. But we'll crack into it first. So I want to go through a few clips. I'm going to focus on the Eddie Hearn stuff, not the Saudi Arabian spokesman stuff, because that was just pure sales pitch. But Eddie Hearn, in terms of why Saudi Arabia? We have to realize that there is another world out there outside of Cardiff and Madison Square Garden. And we have an obligation to grow the sport of boxing to new areas, to new regions. And for me, this event could change boxing forever. Because if Saudi Arabia are going to invest in these kind of fights, with the population that they have, with the potential to grow the sport of boxing, you could be seeing a big change in the dynamics of the sport. And that's something that really, truly excites me. As we know for this fight on December 7th in Diria, it's going to be an open air venue and it is still to be constructed for at least 12,000 people. We're talking about the design of the new open air stadium for this fight. Already talking about 12,000, but probably judging by the response, might need 15 or 16,000 as well in this stadium. And look at the events, look at the organisations that have been there before us. Many of these we spoke to in preparation for this announcement and this event. Formula One with the Formula E, of course, the European Golf Tour, the Italian Super Cup, the World Boxing Super Series, the WWE. Everybody has enjoyed that experience. Normally, for the broadcasting side of the coin for a pay-per-view, especially the broadcasting time within the United Kingdom on Sky, it will be 10, 10.30 for the main event. It'll be slightly earlier, but it will still be in prime time. For British fight fans, well, if you're on your sofa, good news, around a 9, 9.30 first bell on Saturday, December 7th. And if you're making a trip, which is so much more easier than social media will tell you, and Omar will comment on that shortly. Um, it's going to be an incredible experience for fight fans as well. Events, music festivals around the actual boxing event itself, and of course a fight and an undercard that really will blow you away. And I think that this is a, such a huge occasion for boxing, an iconic moment for boxing. And in terms of what's going to happen next with the fighters, is there going to be a press tour? The answer is yes, three country press tour in September. There will be an official press conference on the first week of September in Saudi Arabia, London and New York with Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz. Of course, I read several reports yesterday. Both fighters have signed for this rematch fight. All the governing bodies have been told and confirmed by both sides, the dates, um, and the venue for this event as well. And we will be moving forward to give you full details of those press conferences in due course. Like I said, Saudi Arabia will be the first press conference, London and New York in early September, and that will be confirmed shortly. In terms of the undercard, in terms of the experience, expect the very, very best, as always, from us. We've got huge uh, interest from our fighters wanting to be part of this event. Fighters from the US, fighters from the UK, 
who are desperate to be part of this iconic moment on December the 7th. All in all, it was a bit of a strange press conference. It, it really wasn't the, the sort of norm. You'd normally have at least one fighter, as I mentioned. And we didn't really get a lot of answers to the questions that we may have had. And I think having Anthony Joshua sort of absent wasn't really a great look because I think for a lot of fans, especially those in the United Kingdom who were expecting it was going to go to Cardiff, I think there would have been questions asked of Joshua, well, are you happy with it going to Saudi Arabia? Because he talked up the Cardiff angle just a week or so ago, but at the same time saying that he'd stepped back from the decision-making process. So I think there was maybe some accountability in terms of Joshua being, you know, it would have been nice to hear from him, to be him to be put on the spot to answer those questions. But for whatever reason, they've decided to keep all the fighters out of this for the first bit. They've had Eddie Hearn fronting questions, and we probably didn't learn too much more than we otherwise didn't know. And effectively, that's why it was only a 10-minute press conference, which in itself is, you know, it's quite a short press conference, and it was really a sales pitch in disguise to justify it being in Saudi Arabia. But what do you make of this? Drop a comment, loud and often, hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.